Dozens of people who say they were scammed by the same landscaper and contractor got one step closer to justice this week, but they may have a long road ahead to get any of their money back. Good Friday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. We first shared this story earlier this week as part of our Digging Deeper report. Now the man at the center of it all has been arrested. In tonight's top story, Lizzie Siles has the reaction from the men and women always watching What's Next with Mr. Hamby. Tyler Amber, days after our report detailing multiple instances of NJH Hardscape's owner Nicholas Hamby taking deposits and, we're told, rarely completing work, Peoria's police department arrested him without incident for multiple charges of home repair fraud. While the arrest was welcome news to some victims, they are cautiously optimistic while waiting for an indictment. At this point, it's not about the money any longer, right? It's about justice. David Lucas has been dealing with the fallout of contracting with NJH Hardscapes for outdoor work. He needed a drainage system fixed because it was causing damage to his patio. He gave owner Nicholas Hamby $1,800 but never had any work performed. So Lucas sued Hamby and won. So many of us took him to small claims. So we won. Obviously, as far as I know, anybody that's taken him to small claims won. Now he's protected behind the bankruptcy laws. Like, what did, you, what did you do with all this money? Lucas and other alleged victims are concerned justice may yet be far off. Hamby was arrested earlier this week for multiple counts of home repair fraud, multiple counts of theft and deceptive practices, and one count of aggravated home repair fraud. We asked the Peoria County State's Attorney if he would soon be indicted. A spokesperson told us the matter is under review. Hamby and these charges are not yet listed within county court records. If there is so much evidence against him, how could they turn a blind eye to this? I, I hope that they make him an example. Renee Koppel says Hamby was working on her property as recently as November. She needed a culvert fixed in her yard, which is still broken and sinking. She hopes the court sees the evidence from her and 40 others. This guy is a repeat offender. He's never going to stop using people. He's never going to stop scamming people. Please don't let him do this to anybody else. Like, it's just not something that I would want anybody else to live with. And I think the bigger concern there is not just the justice. What in the world stops this guy from doing it again, right? I mean, he clearly, there's clearly no conscience <laughs> happening here. This is the second county where Hamby may face legal repercussions. He'll go before a judge on one count of home repair fraud in Woodford County next week. We're also keeping an eye on the courts for any indictment.